A carbose is an alpha-glucosidase inhibitor used in adjunctly with diet and exercise for the management of glycemic control in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this video, let's find found. What is a carbose? What is a carbose used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking a carbose? How does a carbose work? How to use a carbose? What is a carbose? A carbose is an anti-diabetic drug used to treat diabetes mellitus type 2 and, in some countries, prediabetes. It is a generic sold in Europe and China as glucose, in North America as Precos, and in Canada as Prandase. It is cheap and popular in China, but not in the US. A carbose is a starch blocker and inhibits alpha-glucosidase, an intestinal enzyme that releases glucose from larger carbohydrates. It is composed of an acarviosin moiety with a maltose at the reducing terminus. A carbose is also degraded to maltose and acarviosin by the glucosidase cyclomaltodextrinase from gut bacteria lactobacillus plantarum. What is a carbose used for? A carbose is indicated as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Contraindication A carbose use is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity, diabetic ketoacidosis, liver cirrhosis, inflammatory bowel disease, or colonic ulceration. Side effects Common side effects may include Stomach discomfort, gas, bloating Mild diarrhea, or Mild skin rash or itching Pharmacodynamic A carbose is a complex oligosaccharide that competitively inhibits the ability of brush border alpha-glucosidase enzymes to break down ingested carbohydrates into absorbable monosaccharides, reducing carbohydrate absorption and subsequent postprandial insulin levels. A carbose requires the co-administration of carbohydrates in order to exert its therapeutic effect, and as such should be taken with the first bite of a meal three times daily. Given its mechanism of action, a carbose in isolation poses little risk of contributing to hypoglycemia, this risk is more pronounced, however, when a carbose is used in conjunction with other anti-diabetic therapies, e.g. sulfonylureas, insulin. Patients maintained on a carbose in addition to other anti-diabetic agents should be aware of the symptoms and risks of hypoglycemia and how to treat hypoglycemic episodes. There have been rare post-marketing reports of the development of pneumatosis cystoids intestinalis following treatment with alpha-glucosidase inhibitors patients experiencing significant diarrhea-slash-constipation, mucus discharge and or rectal bleeding should be investigated and, if pneumatosis cystoids intestinalis is suspected, should discontinue therapy. Mechanism of Action Alpha-glucosidase enzymes are located in the brush border of the intestinal mucosa and serve to metabolize oligo dash, tri dash, and disaccharides e.g. sucrose, into smaller monosaccharides e.g. glucose, fructose, which are more readily absorbed. These work in conjunction with pancreatic alpha amylase, an enzyme found in the intestinal lumen that hydrolyzes complex starches to oligosaccharides. A carbose is a complex oligosaccharide that competitively and reversibly inhibits both pancreatic alpha amylase and membrane-bound alpha-glucosidases of the alpha-glucosidases. Inhibitory potency appears to follow a rank order of glucoamylase sucrase maltase isomaltase. By preventing the metabolism and subsequent absorption of dietary carbohydrates, a carbose reduces postprandial blood glucose and insulin levels. Half-life In healthy volunteers, the plasma elimination half-life of a carbose is approximately 2 hours. Dose Type 2 diabetes mellitus Initially, 25 mg POQ8HR, at meals, with first bite can increase to 50 or 100 mg PO, Q8HR at 4 to 8 WK intervals based on 1-hour postprandial glucose or glycosylated hemoglobin levels and on tolerance. Safety Advice For pregnant women, a carbose is a pregnancy category B drug. That means two things, studies of the drug in pregnant animals have not shown risk to the fetus.
That's all the information about Acarbos we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.